Hey everybody, I have another video here for you today and we're going to take another look at a pyramid. And I just have questions. The story, we have been sold by Egyptologists, it just, it seems, has holes in it and questions should be asked. Here's Giza up at the top and we are going maybe about 8 miles south of Giza to the pyramid field at Abu Sir. And this is what we have left. And I was going to talk about all these in one video, but I just think I'll talk about one today. <clears throat> Excuse me, don't have much time. And I have really serious questions about this here. This is the so-called unfinished pyramid of Neferefre, coming from the 5th dynasty. And this has striking resemblance to the pyramid just three miles to the north that was covered up over time that was featured in my covered up pyramid video from a few days ago. And I appreciate the response on that. Now the attribution to Neferefre, well, I think he did do some building on this bigger pyramid right here, and I'll be talking about that when I go into these pyramids. But you notice this structure with the sloping stairway going down below ground to an open room, and it kind of comes down and slanted this way. Well, that is exactly what we have just at the pyramid that was covered up, just to the north, comes down, and it's slanted that way. Even though this shaft is open to the sky facing east, and this one down here at Abu Sir is facing north. And that makes me wonder about if these were astronomical buildings. One facing east, one facing north. And what was found at the bottom down here? Massive rose granite blocks and a sarcophagus that now is nowhere to be found, I guess. This is the so-called unfinished pyramid of Neferefre coming from the 5th dynasty. They say this is unfinished, even though this is encircled by a wall. So if it was unfinished, why would they build a wall around it if they're trying to get stones in? But doesn't this have a striking resemblance to the so-called unfinished pyramid they say was built in the 4th dynasty that was featured in my pyramid cover-up video? They look identical. So a pharaoh in the 4th dynasty and a pharaoh in the 5th dynasty both stopped building their pyramid at the exact, exact same time. So they looked identical, but they are both unfinished. This is highly confusing, and I think it's a bunch of crap. Now, this pyramid field, there are pyramids built here. There is a step pyramid people think Joser's is the only step pyramid, but I'm going to be talking about these pyramids at Abu Sir. The golden rulers, or the powerful rulers of the 4th dynasty had enough balls to go up to Giza and try to attach their legacy to those big structures up there. So the 5th dynasty pharaohs came down to Abu Sir. They definitely did some work down here. There is cartouches and temples and everything that Egyptians were fully capable of building, but the pharaohs of the 5th dynasty came along and they seemed to build on top of some original structures and maybe they just left this one alone for some reason. Anything attached to a pharaoh is always found outside of this structure. There is nothing inside the structure, but it looks like this one was maybe untouched. This looks exactly like what we find just to the north at this unfinished pyramid that was eventually covered up. Egyptologists say this is an unfinished pyramid, though these two structures look exactly the same, but they come from two different pharaohs and two different dynasties. They stop construction. At this point, identical points. I think that's a bunch of bunk. But I just thought we would take a look at this so-called unfinished pyramid. There's a wall built around it. Is that what they would do with an unfinished pyramid? But maybe this is what these original structure, structures look like. And the Egyptian pharaohs just never touched them. At least this one. And the one just to the north that was eventually covered up. But I don't have much time. We'll take a look at those Abu Sir pyramids in due time. Hope you thought that was cool. And y'all have a very nice day.